Hi, I'm Mike Hamilton. I'm over here at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. And today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of a 2021 Toyota Corolla SE and a Toyota Corolla SE with a nightshade package. I'll be right back. In 2019, Toyota changed the Corolla. It wasn't a drastic change, but it was a pretty big change with a different engine. And so it has a different powertrain than it did prior to the 2018 model year. Um, before that, too, in 2018, Toyota rolled out the uh, all-new Nightshade package. That started out with our 4Runner and now is including a few different vehicles, including the Corolla has a nightshade in the SE edition. So I'm gonna go over and, and just walk the comparisons of the vehicles. This is still a base model or more of a value line vehicle for Toyota. So this is uh, with rebates and store discounts. You'll probably find this vehicle to be in the low 20,000s, depending on your local store and your region, depending on the rebates that are going on. The uh, standard SE package, you see we have LED uh, accent lights uh, with the LED uh, accent lights down below and HID projector uh, lights for the headlights and same honeycomb grill we have Toyota safety sense involved in this with the radar adaptive cruise control and coming over to the uh, the uh, nightshade package we have the same headlights and same accent strips, the same honeycomb grill, and the same uh, Toyota safety sensor on both of these vehicles. Started in the front of the uh, nightshade package. This paint is known as black sand pearl, and it is not just a pure black. I can get the camera on there. You can see there's a metal flake in the paint there. That's the pearl in the paint there. So it glistens in the sun, it's really pretty. And then you have your uh, black badged Toyota logo. And then coming up to the top here, we're going to have our camera and radar systems along with the uh, radar systems and the bumper there for our adaptive or smart cruise control, our lane departure, our pedestrian detection, and uh, all those things that are involved in that. I'm going to walk over here to the, uh, to the regular SE. The, you do not get the black badging there. It's going to be a chrome badge. And it has the same Toyota safety sense up in the window. Coming to the side, this is where we're going to get a significant difference. We're going to get this black gloss rim on the uh, nightshade package here. We have our wind vortex generators that help scrub off the bad air, uh, clean up the, uh, diffuse the air and clean it up. We have do have turn signal indicators on the uh, outer mirrors for when you're merging in. Uh, there is a body side molding at the bottom for more of an aggressive ground effect. It also helps with the uh, aerodynamics of the vehicle. This one has an MSRP of $24,319 before any store discounts and manufacturer's rebates are applied to it. They're both powered by the same powertrain. It's on a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine, dual valve variable timing engine. All the handles are going to be black on this one, too. Everything about this car is black. In contrast, we have the uh, Celestial Silver on this uh, standard SE here. We have a machine polished rim with a like, gray painted interior. Still a nice attractive rim. They're on Michelin tires. Color coded painted uh, door handles. This is a regular key here. This is not a... Uh, this is not a proximity or smart key. This does not have push start. In the back of the standard SE here, the Toyota carries on that honeycomb to the back to give it that much more aggressive, bold look. We have a uh, dual exhaust tip on a single exhaust system down there. Uh, again, with not being the, the uh, nightshade, we're getting chrome badging for the Corolla, uh, the Toyota's logo, and then you have the SE there, though, is in red with a chrome outlay to it. 
And then we have a little spoiler here, a little rear spoiler here that goes on the SEs and the XSEs. Up on top, we have our shark fin for our GPS, our XM radio, our Toyota Safety Connect. All that's available through this vehicle. In the back here of the uh, Nightshade, Toyota carries out the black attack on this vehicle. I wish they would have did on that uh, dual tip exhaust. Black exhaust tips would be really cool to tie this all in, but you have all your badging here. Your Corolla is black, your SE is black, your Toyota logo is black, and everything up on top is black with the same shark fin. Let's go ahead and show you the key fob. This is the same for both. It's a uh, I don't know what they call that. I call it a switchblade key. It's got a button that the key flips out, which is a laser cut key. We have our unlock, our lock. We have our trunk release and then a panic button. So the whole, open up the trunk. I'll just hold this for three seconds, and that's going to unlock the trunk. There's also a release inside the vehicle. Waiting for the new buyer, we have a cargo mat that hasn't been installed, and then we have carpeted floor mats with the Corolla embroidered into the uh, floor mats those seats are folding those are 60 40 so they will fold down so you can pass longer things through this coming back to the uh se here fuel doors on the back on the driver's side uh this does have an an extra that's been added to this vehicle this has door edge guards which are aluminum and painted to match the uh paint there it keeps you from chipping your paint by hitting something uh, we have an adequate back seat there is no air vents or anything in here for the uh, back passengers um, even with that seat sitting I can sit in there pretty comfortably I'm six foot two and then you have an armrest with a couple cup holders um, and there's one also for a bottle holder inside the doors and then if I get in here even with the seat all the way back for me it's adequate for a large adult to be sitting behind another large adult who's in the front seat here plenty of room and giving you a better look at the front here and the, how spacious it is. Uh, this is your standard light gray interior. Now Toyota does offer this in black. Coming up here to the driver's door on the nightshade. Black continued all over. We're going to get some some soft touch, soft touch materials here in the... Uh, in both these vehicles here, we have typical stuff we're going to find in every vehicle. That's power windows, power mirrors, power door locks, uh, a couple bottle holders there. We have a gauge dimmer, and then that A button there is your auto dimming high beams for your Toyota Safety Sense. Uh, none of the Corollas, except for the highest trim levels, the XSE, XLE, have a power driver's seat. Uh, there is no passenger front power seat available to any level. This is a manual seat with a jack system. And then also we have our trunk release and our fuel release there on the floor. So this is a standard ignition start. You have the uh, analog tachometer, analog temperature gauge, analog fuel gauge, analog speedometer. And, and let me turn that down. And then to the side there is your driver's information center. That gives you a variety of different information. We have on here, we have a digital speedometer on here. We have our MPG, which it doesn't have any. It's only got five miles a gallon. This thing pushes close to 40 miles a gallon on its peak. Um, and then you have your eco meter here. And then going over to the next screen, this is our lane departure with a alert screen here with adaptive cruise control which I've gone over many videos. You can look at my other videos to see that. And then we have our, our trip monitor here for distance for trips. And then this one here is our Toyota Safety Sense. This has our lane departure alert, our pre-collision. So if it senses a vehicle that this vehicle is gonna collide with, two speeds of 110 miles an hour will go into a brake mode and slow you down by 30 miles an hour. It does the same picking up pedestrians to uh, 50 miles an hour and then also read speed limits and stop signs for you. Also, the last screen here is a, no messages. So if there was a problem with this vehicle, it's gonna tell you what's wrong with this vehicle. Uh, over here, we have a eight inch uh, multimedia or screen here, or infotainment screen. And this is supports both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is also equipped with Sirius XM radio. Uh, so let me demonstrate that. 
And then we have air controls here with a single climate control. This is your temperature range, your fan speeds. And then we have a fan off and front defrost, rear defrost, heated mirrors, your modes for different flows. And then we have eco heat and cool. We have inside outside air uh, and our AC on button. Down below, this is our gear shifter. This is a continuous variable transmission, also known as a CVT. So it is uh, mimics having gears when it doesn't, but you could also sequentially shift the gears that it has. And then pretty nice for a, uh, a base model, you have a power parking brake. So if you were to uh, just put it in park, it will put itself in, uh, in park and set the e-brake, take it out, it'll take it out. And then you, you also get this backup camera here. Uh, which is a fairly nice screen and uh, gives you the guidelines too for backing up and then we have a park and brake hold button that that button there is kind of like a hill assist button so if you were on a steep hill and you hold the do the hold you can let go of the gas the vehicle will not roll on you down below here is our primary port where this uh thing is for our our apple carplay and android auto and then they're carrying all that soft touch material all the way through I'll see you in the other, I'll see you back in the other car. Inside the SE here, we have different materials here, still all soft touch. I would call this, a, in other models, they call this a moonstone interior. The seats don't have the same pattern growing throughout, so I don't would say this is a moonstone, but this is stuff I've seen in other vehicles. Uh, coming over to the steering wheel, now these vehicles are equally, we, equally equipped. They do not have anything different as far as equipment. Uh, so you have all your uh, buttons on the steering wheel for both. So this is going to control that information center that I was showing you in the last scene of the video here. And then you have picking up your phone, your voice command. You could use your Toyota system or you could use it for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then all your, this is where your adaptive for radar pace and cruise control and lane departure and your radio modes are down below and you're setting your cruise control is all in here. Also being this is a sports edition, there are paddle shifters. So we could we could we could sequentially shift and do this in sport mode, uh, which is pretty neat. And then once we come back down to the uh, to the gear shifter below, we, that's what, what we have here is a button for sport. So we turn the sports mode on, it's gonna change the uh, shifting dynamics a little bit and makes the vehicle shift at higher RPMs, it stiffens up the suspension, tightens up your steering and gives you a little bit more of a sports feel. It get, makes it basically go faster. And then I'm gonna come all the way up to the top here. And we have some buttons up here. We have our, we have reading lights, our dome lights to on. And then we have another button in the middle that's in every Toyota now. This is called the SOS button. It's a very similar system to what OnStar has been doing for many years. Uh, this is for emergency. So if you're in an emergency where airbags deploy or you're in an accident where airbags deploy, and uh, it will call the call center and they'll be calling you to see if you need help. They'll know your GPS coordinates, how fast you're going at the time of accidents. You're in an emergency. You can push that button to call them for help. Uh, also, it does uh, complimentary services, stolen vehicle locator, roadside assistance, tech support for the vehicle, getting directions are all part of this SOS button here. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. So let's walk over these vehicles one more time. This is the number one selling vehicle in the entire world. There's no more vehicles that are built than the Toyota Corolla. This vehicle is the most reliable vehicle I've seen and Toyota has reliable vehicles and just everything they build, but uh, I've never seen a Corolla with a check engine light on ever. So, I mean, see, I've seen some so beat up and nasty looking, 21 years old and uh, not a straight piece of metal and rusted out and seats are breaking down and the dashboard's cracked from the sun. But I get in and start and runs like a champ. This is a vehicle that has one of the lowest ownership, uh, uh, cost of ownerships, great on feel, very low cost of, uh, of maintenance on these vehicles. You just cannot go wrong. They give you lots of choices, a great starter vehicle for many people that are getting going with their adult lives. Uh, so let's walk around this one more time and show you each vehicle. So again, this is the Celestial Silver uh, in the standard SE package. And then we have our 
nightshade edition that's an SE all black it's pretty much the blackest vehicle could get in the and the uh, Corolla and one of several in the family of the nightshade packages and I'm gonna give you a hint which one my pick is as you see there's no gray in this vehicle this is the one I would want if I'm buying a Corolla. I want this nightshade. I think the nightshade is super cool. And right now my vehicle is pretty much mostly black. I like black. It's a favorite color of mine. I think it looks really good on pretty much any vehicle. So again, thank you for watching my vehicle. Have a great day.